I'm gonna do a review of the D23 exclusive Snow White and Witch Dolls that were available at the 2017 D23 Expo. Um, both of them were limited edition of uh, two different editions actually. Snow White was edition of 1023 and the Witch was edition of 723 which the ending numbers there are a um, coincide with the uh, D23 Expo and both of them have the D23 sticker on the bottom right corner you can see on the top corner of the left side of each box there's the new Disney Store logo and um, considering the fact that they were very uh, very few of these dolls um, I know I have a lot of people that I've been chatting with in the doll community and they're basically asking, you know, is it worth it? What is it like in person? And um, there's a friend of ours, uh, Bernat, who actually recommended that I do this review like I did with the Beauty and the Beast uh, Platinum set. So I'm going to try to keep it as fast as possible with having two dolls and I won't talk too much, but um, I'm going to kind of do a really quick walkthrough of the dolls and um, yeah, so that way you guys can see everything in close-up details and then determine for yourself if you think they're worth the price. Um, right now on eBay and resale value, it looks like they're going anywhere from uh, 500 to somewhere, some, some people are selling them for 800 uh, So really you can be the judge of which one, which price you feel like is going to be best suited for the quality that's within these dolls. Alright, so first up is going to be, um, I guess, Snow White. I think that's the one that most people are looking forward to. So I'm actually going to step in the camera and kind of move it around. So if it doesn't end up, if I kind of uh, go out of frame, sorry. But I'm just going to try to keep it as simple and quick as possible. So here she is. Plastic cover off. And then here's the authenticity card. Mine was one sixty seven or hours I should say, my husband and I. And so you can see the colors are um, rich, but they are more of like a muted color palette. They're not as bright as the other designer dolls in the same um, series as far as the, the designer series for Snow White or the 17 inch dolls. Try to hold her up close so you can see. I don't know if you can see the shoes, but the shoes are basically like singing doll. They're just painted gold. She has a very beautiful face, very kind of soft, and she has a little bit of gold eyeshadow, a little bit of blush on the cheek. She has, of course, her red bow. This is actually two pieces of fabric here. You can see in between here, this fabric is actually really thin. It looks like it's kind of heavy, but it's this is actually really, really thin in between. And then on the bottom here, you've just got the two layers and then also a little bit of tool underneath to make it puff out. The sparkles are mainly with, or the, the gems or stones or whatever you want to call it, mainly just within this design at the bottom here. There's not a whole lot. 
um, and then there are some scattered around the dress too. And then just to kind of give you a look at the back of the box, color palette matches the uh, kind of rich muted colors that are on Snow White's dress. You can see an apple on the bottom and also, where is it? Oh, there's also these roses that are on the side and then also bottom sides over here. Apple on the top and the design of this window. And then the witch, we can take her out. The authenticity card, darker imagery. It has kind of like these um, thorns that are kind of wrapping around the edges of the authenticity card. It's really pretty. And with this one, it's kind of funny. She's uh, her knees are bent actually to make her appear shorter, and she's actually standing on this plastic piece so that way even though she's kind of hunched over, she's still about the same height as Snow White. And then um, she actually does have really <laughs> big feet. So kind of these like same style of shoe that's on the um, Heroes and Villains designer series. And I was curious to see if they were, um, actually these shoes were removable don't know entirely, but I can feel there's an opening in the back of the the back of the plastic. So I'm assuming that these shoes can actually come off. Not sure how big her feet are, but so here she is. Face mold is extremely accurate. Like this is just crazy. It looks like with this one, she literally is from the movie it's it's crazy how much they were able to get this doll to look exactly like the character so she has um, the little headscarf that's tied underneath her chin she has uh, another I can't really see it but there you go she has kind of like a little pleated neckline underneath that thin gauzy material that goes all the way around She's padded in the back. She has this um, shawl that's kind of like a, a deep maroon color, rose color with an embroidery. This material here, again, this is really gauzy material, so it's nice and light. Little frayed edges to kind of make her look like she is very unfortunate and needs help. Um, sorry, I keep knocking into my camera, but um, the apple is a nice deep red you know hands of course you can move around and the apron um, this is really nice actually this is made well this is uh, double layered there's a nice satin material on the inside so when you feel this it's very thick um, and then there's several pockets and patches all different materials uh, nice trim and then also underneath same type of kind of like a gauzy material That's underneath all tattered Different kind of kind of um, Roses and vines that are going along the trim or the hemline and then there's this nice lacy uh, Detail that's at the hem and then with this one it does not look like 
there's any other material underneath. It's just the tissue paper to make the dress stick out a little bit more. So, hope this gives you guys a good idea to the detail of these dolls. Um, in my opinion, I mean, I've, I've been on the other side where I've had to um, kind of go back and buy dolls that I, when I wasn't collecting, so I had to pay way over retail, and um, I do feel like these dolls are probably worth, maybe for the, the witch, I'd say she's definitely worth the four to five range, and then Snow White is definitely worth probably like anywhere from four to six. I mean, if you can get someone to sell her to you for four, I would definitely hop on the chance. Um, but she's just so pretty in the fabric when you see it in person. It's just so rich with detail and um, the colors just, they just really all kind of blend together and she just looks very regal. So I would say it's definitely worth it. If you can hop on the chance now, I would say definitely get her. All right guys, thank you.